All right, next trap and roll escape. I call this one the big brother hold. Now, I don't even have a big brother. I have a little brother, but he's even able to do this to me, and uh, it's not fun. It's pretty demoralizing. It's the wrist pin variation. What would they try if they don't have a technique? What do most people try from here? Hands. Uh, give me my hands back. Uh, the problem is I have a lot of leverage holding these hands to the ground, you guys. There's no way you're going to fight these back up towards me because gravity's on my side. And what have we learned so far? Trap one arm, trap one leg. The problem is how do I trap an arm if he's trapping my arm? Good point. I need to trap an arm and I can't from here. Yeah, so, so it's a tough very situation. Very frustrating. And, and again, this one is likely to be either somebody uh, that you know. This is more of a power kind of expression, expression of power from here. Right. So notice he's not really hurting me per se from here. He's not choking me, he's not punching me, but either way, it can feel very demoralizing from this position. So we'd like to get out. I believe you can, go. Let's do it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Woohoo. Okay, I was right. <laughs> <laughs> it's getting lower. Yep. Check this out, you guys. Let's look at it. Wrists are pinned to the ground. Boom, step one. Bridge high, throw low. Step two, hug the tree, and then rinse and repeat. You guys already know. Hug the body, wrap the arm, <laughs> wrap trap the and roll. Arm, trap back. and roll. Everything else is the same, you guys. And we trust me, we love and you love the connections and the similarities between these variations and the other ones you already learned. So at that point, you look at it, it's okay. 80% of this I already know. Teach me the 20% and let's dial that in. Here we are. Yep, so here it is. So the wrists are pinned. Now what do we do? He said, hips high, throw low. Right? So let's look at this almost in slow motion. First of all, let's look at the angle that he's at right now. So his, his shoulders come kind of before his wrists. I would say right? it's about 80 degrees, not like quite 90. Not yeah. quite 90, which means it's, they're wedging into the ground, which is not ideal, right? Which is why I can't push against it. Right. Now here's what's interesting. As I bridge my hips, look at the angle of his shoulder over his wrist. It starts, gets, right there's 90, and watch it past the 90. Past now I start 90. to fall, boom. Now, once he reaches that point past 90 here, that's when the hands oh. can be thrown down, right? So that's ultimately what we need. We need him to let go of our hands because of fear of collapsing straight on the floor, his head into the floor. And that fear is amplified very quickly when her hands travel south at such a rapid rate. Not this way, but it's like a snow angel like. Rush yes. down into the side. I actually want to show once by, by myself okay, so they cool. can really see. And this is actually a great drill to do by yourself because it is a unique movement. It's a little bit like patting your head and rubbing your tummy, which I, I, I don't think can I can do. do. Yeah, still that. can do. <laughs> <laughs> so from here, the hands are pinned. And now as, the, as my hips go up, my hands come down. Perfect. All at the same time, right? So it's this motion here. Now, yeah. I notice I'm not lifting my hands off the ground. Once you kind of get used to that motion, then you can try it with a partner. Right. So let's talk here. Now, what's really important about this one, probably the most important safety tips that we're gonna see in this course is right. for this move. Right. The most injuries that have happened in practice, I think, has come from this one. Or at least, uh, or at least embarrassing head face yeah. plants in the ground. We'll not call them injuries, but face plants. Face plants, just kind of unfortunate little yeah. training situations. Little Nothing too bad, but, um, but from here, because if you, this person is not ready to catch themselves. And, and let's talk about realistic, too. Realistic? Realistically, this, of course, he is not expecting to be thrown on his face. Got your wrist, and he got so you. So what is he going to do? He's going to splat right on top of us. Now, that's still better than him holding our wrist, but for safety purposes, we have to turn our head to the side. So his body lands on the side of your head versus his, on your body on your nose. Look at me. Boom, right in the center. That would suck it if would, their chest landed flat. It would be very bad if the chest landed flat on her nose. That's like, now we're completely disoriented, eyes watering, everything bad. So let's look at this slowly. So once again, the hips bridge and the hands go south. Boom, Ooh. but you see how I turn my head? Right. So just in case, even if your partner kind of forgets and they end up falling, we want to protect ourselves here. And then right away, once that happens, what do we do? We go back to always controlling the distance, head tight into their, their, their uh, chest here. Right, we don't want to allow any sag here because there's a slight chance of that gap. Space and it's so important, you guys, that Eve hugs my torso immediately after I post and catch myself because once my hands no longer have a job here and they are, huh, guess what I'm thinking right now? Wait a minute, these guys are jobless. Let's go on the job hunt. Boom, and they're going to punch you in the face or do something else or grab your wrist again. So it's so important that Eve give my hands a new role once she eliminates Which is the existing role. his weight. And the right? new role is base. Because she's going to be hugging my torso, and if I sit up, I've got to stabilize myself. So that's so beautiful. Now, yep. rightfully so, 
Eve is only talking about her safety during this technique. <laughs> so let me talk about my safety, yeah. the bad guy's safety. <laughs> when I grab her wrists and pin them to the ground, she's gonna bump and throw her hands down. If I'm not waiting for this move, I will literally fall flat on my face when this happens, because I'm gonna get slow. Bump, throw, look. Boom, you're gonna face plant, and you're gonna say, oh shoot, I forgot they were gonna do a technique. So what's the rule? Don't touch it unless you're gonna buy it, okay? So from... You break, you buy. <laughs> you break, you buy. But that just came to my mind for some reason. <laughs> Look, don't grab the wrist unless you're ready to let go of the wrist, is really what I meant. Don't pin the wrist to the ground until you accept that the second you grab them, game is on. And if Eve bumps and throws, because she can't really do this slowly, it's kind of like a quick move. Has to be quick, It's like yeah. bump and go, you thrust and go. If you're not gonna be ready to release, do not grab them. So when you touch down, it's game on, and just be ready to go like and catch yourself. She can't be watching out for her safety and for mine on this move because she has to bump and she has to do the move. That's what makes it work, all right? And once again, Eve's hands become most movable the minute my body repasses the apex or the vertical 90 right there. And for this point, they go boom, and they become very weightless. Right. So that being the case, sometimes the attacker gets your hands and has them a little bit higher. The problem with this is my arm from wrist to shoulder is no longer 70 degrees or 80 degrees, it's now 45, 45 degrees. Yeah. And because it's 45, it's very hard for her to bridge me over the apex, past the 90, you see this? It's hard to get to the 90 if I'm like this, because she can't even bridge that high. So instead of bridging, if they have your hands very vertical, watch what Eve does first. She goes up until her arms are 90 degree wings right here. And now, look how much closer we are to the 80 degree right here, shoulder to fist, and now the bump and the reach, much easier. And then she hugs the tree, climbs the tree, and then she wraps the arm. Or if the hand's too strong, come down. You guys already know. You guys already know. You guys see how the branches of the tree They're flow all and connect. Connecting. That's what's up. Cool. Yes. Any other details in this one? Yeah. So it really, it's just mostly safety. But we want to practice both variations. So we have this one here, right, where the the hand is just low and in place, and just to get used to it. And then we want to also see what it feels like. So just try this with your partner a couple times, pushing off our feet, wiggling up north. Boom, so Here, good. and then from here. Now, in, in other techniques, like the trap and roll, our bridges are like slow and kind of, you know, controlled. This one, it has to be explosive. Boom. So we just want to explode, because it has to be taken by surprise. Right. If they start to feel, oh, I'm kind of like, I'm going this way, I'm going that way. Right. They're going to, you know, post change out or attack, just, maybe, yeah, yeah, or even just change their energy. We want to catch them off guard, whoop and throw it down. Think snow angels with Boom. your hand, right? That's I it, you guys. I grew up in the snow, Henner didn't. Yeah, I, I talk about sand angels, <laughs> beach angels, but snow, don't talk to me. Yes, there we go. Um, there it is, you guys. Wrist pin variation of the trap and roll. And then remember, once they release and catch themselves, at that point, you're hugging the body, you're it's close, manage distance, manage damage, safety first, climb the tree, and then you can choose either a wrapping arm, right, punch block variation, or you can go to that two-on-one kind of spread hand variation, loop it around your head and lock it in from there. Yep, I think they got it. Wrist pin variation, do it safely, do it crisp. You guys got it. This is it, everyone. Women Empowered 2.0 is here, and self-defense will never be the same. 20 new lessons, 63 Gracie Jiu Jitsu techniques, and five fight philosophies. Over 15 hours of instructional content available on DVD and streaming. It also comes with the Empowerment Handbook, an 80 day training schedule, and a progress tracker. Everything was designed so you can learn it all from home. All you need is one dedicated training partner. And until you find that training partner, the Fit Jitsu program will teach you the movements and body mechanics of the Women Empowered techniques all while putting you through an insane full body workout. Once you master the techniques, you can digitally record your test and upload it to gracieuniversity.com. We'll assess your performance, and if you pass, you'll be awarded your pink belt. Best of all, if you score 95 or higher, you'll qualify for the instructor certification program. And in success, you'll be certified to teach these life-saving skills in your community for profit or not. Our goal is to have certified instructors in every city around the world so that Women Empowered is being offered in every fitness center, college, campus, church, military base, and beyond. With your help, every woman will have the confidence to set boundaries and the self-defense skills to stay safe.